Welcome to the House of the Unrest. Alpharetta's premier home haunt. Let's go take a look inside. First room we enter into is our introductory room. We have all sorts of creepy things. Nice little candle. You go over here. And then we have our oh so important rules. After you send the people into the next room, they come into the scarecrow room. This room we have a hay, about four or five different scarecrows. We had an actor in this room, and what he would do is wait for the people to get distracted from the scarecrows, and then he would just jump out of them. And he had an awesome silicone mask, so that was pretty awesome because he got them when they didn't expect it. Next thing we're entering into is the dungeon. Count Dracula is here with his beautiful bride, but hey, she's a zombie and she's looking mighty fine for a zombie. We have your bats. So we have another Dracula over here in the mist. After we go through the dungeon, we enter my favorite room, which is the swamp. There's moss everywhere. And it's really submersive. Over here you have your shrunken head. And if you turn to the right, we have our little pond here. Got a few bones floating around in there. The zombie on the ground, zombie in the wall. They push their way through the moss. They'd be greeted by an actor who'd be hiding in this corner. He'd simply pop up. He wouldn't even say anything, but Something about him, he was little too, so something about that creeped him out. Next thing we go through is a tunnel. We have some webs hanging down from the ceiling to create this eerie feeling. And as you saw before, we have our lovely mad scientist here. He greets people as they head into the lab. They head into the lab, they'd be greeted by a almost alien looking mad scientist who is an actor working on this body right here. Hit of an air compressor and blast them with some air, so that'd be that's a good scare because of the noise and they feel it. And of course, you have to have your Frankenstein right over here. The next room we enter is the nursery. Lots of creepy things in here. The crib with all our lovely zombie babies. Your monster under the bed. It's kind of simplistic but very creepy at the same time. Of course you have Mr. Freddy here, the Nightmare King, perfect for the nursery. We have an actor hiding in this corner over here. She would just look up at people and really creep them out just because of, she almost, sometimes she would say stuff, sometimes she wouldn't. And it would just freak him out. Here's a cute little zombie baby right here, isn't he cute? Aww. Then we have Barbies hanging up from the ceiling. Then we have a dollhouse. It's kind of hard to see. And then we have the creepy kid on the ladder. He just... Tell me about his face. It's just creepy. The exit, they'd come into the spider garden. So we have our huge spider over here with a victim and some of its two more recent victims. As they come, they'll see Christine or Krankus. I love this scare because it's nothing that pops out at you. We see just behind a metal gate, kind of far into the forest. So it's not like they're up close or they're pretty far back from her, but just that eeriness that they see. Then we come over here into Jason's garden. Nice flamage. Get that creepy look. One of his most recent victims is Zan on a stake. Then we head over into the oh so famous clown room. I love this room. We had an actor and he had a full mask on so no one would be able to tell what he if he was real or not. We have Uncle Charlie over here and Honky. Then they enter one of my favorite rooms, the laser room. This room would really disorient people because it's filled with fog. When you turn around, you see all these laser beams. So they'd walk through it like that. They have no sense of where they were. So we had to install a little black light so people wouldn't get lost in here. But this room was awesome just because you just 
feel disoriented. As they come close to the end of the haunt, they're greeted by Frankenstein over here, and behind him is an angel of death. They come through and see a nice little skeleton man here. You always gotta have a skeleton somewhere. And then they'd come over out here to two of our lovely window displays. We have nice ghoul window windows as well as an evil butler. And if you thought the spider before was big, check out this guy. Let me back up to give you perspective on how big that is. That's a, my house is two stories and that's pretty much, I can't remember how big it is, I think it's like 12 feet. It's intense. Then we have some zombies on a swing. And then we come over here to the graveyard. The Grim Reaper is over here lurking over all the souls that are down there. Some nicely detailed tombstones. Then they'd come up and get their candy and go on their way. Hope you enjoyed. See y'all next year.